If you clicked, you're probably wondering how to hit Unreal very fast, so I'm just going to get straight into it. First off, I land at this drop spot near Kenjitsu and Naughty Nets. Out of the 30 times I've dropped there, I think I've only been conned once, and hey, out of all people, it was by 76th place Unreal in the whole entire world. Kind of crazy to think about. When I loot this drop, I tend to farm the trees around me for extra wood, just try to get max wood immediately. And then I travel down the beach for shields, chests, and other loot I might need. Ideally, I'm looking for slap juices, the invisibility cloak, and minis, as those are all, the minis are fast heals, and then the invisibility cloak and slap juices are really good for surviving end game consistently. Well, this video of me storm tanking plays in the background, I want to go over two crucial concepts, one being storm tanking. On most of your rotates, the easiest way to ensure survival is to storm tank. Get ahead of the zone and onto the dead side of zone. A good rule of thumb for dead side is that it is usually where the zone is pulling. As an example, say the zone pulls to the upper left of the map, then dead side will most likely be around breakwater and in that upper left section of the map. Same for the upper right of the map, Lonely Labs. If it pulls towards that, towards, I guess, the ocean side of the upper right of the map, then dead side will most likely be near Lonely Labs. On my Unreal journey, I would personally tank zone to get here and try to roll for Aquatic Warrior as I would make my swimming speed, which was like 99% of my rotates, way faster, helping me not take as much zone damage. Getting on this dead side would also keep me safe from enemies. Most W keyers are fighting in the congested side of zone, which is where I guess you could say the edge of the zone that is not the dead side, the opposite side of the dead side to make it more clear. Ideally, for obvious reasons, if you are trying to play placement, you do not want to be on the congested side. Try to avoid it at all costs unless you absolutely positively have to be inside that area for endgame. The second concept is that I always try, and you should always try if you're playing placement, to stay on the edge of zone. I say this as when you are on the edge of zone, you are usually the last player to rotate. Seeing where everybody rotates can give you an easy positional advantage as you just react to how they rotate. Say your opponent goes to the left, then you just would go to the right of him and you'll know that nobody is there. My placement and game plan pretty much revolved around this. I would rotate from edge of zone one to the edge of zone two, to the edge of zone three, so on and so forth, always scouting where the, my opponents were in front of me, how they rotated and trying to be the last person to rotate on every single zone that was not an end game zone. To make it more concise, zones one to six, I'd say rotate late as you wanna let other people rotate in front of you so they don't end up fighting you and so that you can make it to zone seven and 12, which is where the real end game starts. On a minor note, I would also use storm tanking to loot llamas and my cash if possible. When trying to do so, I would wait for the zone to pull over it as both can draw players' attentions to you. The loot llama being noisy and showing a visual indicator on the screen and the cash potentially being noticed by the other person the cash got assigned to and they potentially w keying you i guess you could say if you take anything from this part of the video play the dead side of zone or where zone is pulling and use zone or intentionally take storm damage from the zone to get to dead side to ensure you have a really easy and simple mid game in this part of the video, I'll be explaining how I played this endgame in specific and some concrete endgame tips you can apply to pretty much every game. From zone 6 on, what you do at this part of the game is very important as elims don't matter as much and placement is going to be how you're going to get a bulk of your points, especially in elite and champion. Here, I'm extremely lucky this player didn't notice me. If there is a player near you, you definitely want to keep a low profile. As I do here, I wait for him to rotate out and then I continue to head towards zone. Though I wasn't thinking about it here, a strategy you can apply in the early game actually in the future is to purchase one of the triage trooper, one of the healing bots and let them follow you around in zone. These bots basically make you invincible in zone as they chug splash you twice every, I don't know the exact timing, but they chug splash you often so you will very rarely be losing HP. If you get a end game near Shattered, I mean, this is kind of rare, but when it does happen, I like to use the ores to rotate as you are basically unhittable well in the air and don't risk getting fought by players before getting the zone and 
potentially even dying. To use the kinetic ore as a movement item, all you have to do is angle it up where you want to go as I do here and bam, just like that, I'm in zone. When seventh zone pulls, my priorities are to get to the dead side of the zone if possible and base as fast as I can as well as base on a high layer. Finding the dead side towards the end of the game is definitely a little bit more tricky. I kind of just look around, scout around for players near me and distance myself as far as I can from these players. I wouldn't say there's like a crazy tip or trick I use. I just note where players are using visual indicators and sight and dip. I also like basing on elevated positions. If you are based on low ground, it is usually really difficult to rotate as the player on a mountain or an elevated position can just look at you while you're trying to rotate and just spray, spray, spam, shoot the Cybertron cannon, etc. And that can make rotating a pain in the butt. So by basing in an elevated area, as I do here, I create an easy rotation in the next zone for myself and don't have to worry about getting help. Players based below me could have held me if I did not go up earlier, which is why I do. The eighth zone is where I'd say it gets kind of tricky. This is where the zone pulls fully into storm. My advice would be to rotate fast and try to be the first person to rotate if it pulls far and rotate slowly if it pulls towards you. If you wait too long on a rotate when it pulls far, you can get held by players around you, which is a very irritating and tilting experience that I like to avoid, which is why I recommend rotating fast. If the zone pulls close to you, you wanna take a longer time to rotate as if you rotate too fast and are the first person, it's very easy to get lobby focused by the people around you. Ideally, you can probably find an opportunity when zone pulls close to you when somebody else in the lobby is getting server focused or sprayed as nobody will be paying attention to you rotating or when everybody else is rotating. So basically just wait until everybody's focused on something else, whether it be the rotation or a player, then make your rotate when zone pulls close to you. Also on these rotates and future rotates if necessary, don't be afraid to save mats. Here you saw me get beamed to 20 HP and I potentially could have died right here, but as I burn like, I think at least 300, 300 mats, I was able to survive. So remember that survival is more important than dying in a lot of situations. So don't be afraid to burn mats, especially since it's only like usually 10 players max each end game. In zones nine to 12, I mean, it rarely gets past zone 10, but you're gonna wanna rotate ahead of the zone at all times. This is a high priority as people will be fighting behind you and this will make you extremely easy placement. I do that right here. And even though it's barely an end game, there's only like three players, it allows me to win the game and they are all sitting back and not rotating ahead. I'm just have you all watch this out and see why rotating ahead early in the end game is super important. And just like that, I want in an Unreal Lobby, let's go. If you take anything away from the end game portion of this video, wait on your rotate if a zone pulls close, rotate fast if it pulls far. 9th to 12th zone, stay in front of zone so you don't get held by other players and use mads if needed to survive as these games die out quick. And yeah, that's all I got. If you wanna see more educational videos, let me know in the comments. I will try to improve on these and do more. Peace.